The following video is a five minute step-by-step -step educational guide on how to extricate a patient in the prone position when presented with a vehicle rollover. Step one, patient exposure and car stability. There is a process involved in stabilizing the vehicle, gaining access to the casualty and creating a workable space for extrication that is performed by the fire brigade, taking approximately 20 minutes. The casualty must then be extracted within the next 40 minutes to prevent permanent cord injury caused by persistent neck flexion for periods in excess of one hour. Step two, rescue a role allocation. A minimum of five persons are required to maximize casualty and personnel safety. Person one on the head, two on the shoulders, three on the pelvis, four on the legs and feet, and finally, person five on the spine board. Step three, establish patient rapport and recline the seat. Firstly, introduce the team to the casualty. Next, recline the seat to create a more workable space. Step four, next stabilization and entrapment check. Due to the hyperacute flex position of the neck, a collar is contraindicated. The rescuers must now check their designated areas of responsibility to ensure there is no entrapment of the casualty. Step five, spine board introduction and seatbelt release. The spine board is inserted from the rear of the vehicle. It is then inserted under the patient with the foot end being locked into the steering wheel. Once this is achieved, the seatbelt is now ready to be released. Just prior to this, the head rescuer ensures that the shoulder and hip rescuers are ready to go to lower the patient safely onto the spine board. If this manoeuvre isn't executed correctly, it will jeopardise the casualty's next stability and airway patency. Step six, moving the patient onto the spine board. Once the casualty has been lowered onto the spine board, it is now time to lift and slide them up until the pelvis, legs and feet are on. This is generally performed in two manoeuvres. The first, getting their hips up and over the steering wheel, and the second, sliding the casualty up the board until they are completely on. The casualty is now ready to be extricated from the vehicle. Step seven, patient extrication from the vehicle. For this step, there are no set rules for how many stop starts there are. The most important step, however, is to indicate the distance to move at any one time. This enables the integrity of the casualty spine and rescuer manual handling safety to be maintained, which enables a coordinated, careful and smooth shuffle to occur in a safe manner until complete extrication is achieved. Step eight, log roll to supine, spinal check and immobilization. Once out of the car, the casualty must be walked to a safe location. A log roll to the supine position can now be performed. Take note how the head rescuer's hand position changes with the assistance of another rescuer, enabling the log roll to be completed. The casualty is now ready for full spinal immobilisation.